This is the second part of the kennel cough segment. Today we're going to discuss about the diagnosis. How do we diagnose kennel cough? And more importantly, the treatment. What do we do for kennel cough? In most cases, if you think that your dog has kennel cough and needs to see a vet, it is advisable to tell your vet to inform them that your dog has a kennel cough because your vet may then advise you, okay, not to bring your dog into the waiting room where there may be other dogs. They may even offer to see your dog in a car park. So uh, kennel cough being quite infectious, uh, we, uh, your vet may be quite keen to minimize the contact with all the other patients. Usually, the way to diagnose kennel cough is to take a very good history to ask the owners exactly, to ask you what has been happening to your dog. Does your dog, uh, is your dog exposed to other dogs? Um, and what signs is it been showing? And uh, if there's been sort of a, um, any other signs that are coming, usually that's enough to sort of diagnose kennel cough. This also includes examining your dog, checking the temperature, checking the lymph nodes, and sometimes what happens is that they're quite sensitive in the throat over here and your vet may just apply a little bit of pressure to the throat area and sometimes they can elicit a response like a bit of gulping, swallowing and it's what we call the tracheal pinch reflex. Sometimes observation is helpful. What do I mean by that? Knowing how long has this coughing been going on, is it better, is it worse over time? can allow us to gauge how severe it is, how um, much is it affecting uh, your pet, is it actually causing your little friend here to go off colour or off food, or is it just merely noisy. So this also uh, helps and uh, just monitoring because what happens is that if you really actually wanted to diagnose can cough to look for the bacteria or to look for the virus, we do have to do swabs, uh, which uh, may be uh, indicated further down the line if it is not resolving. So, just to wrap up, diagnosis of kennel cough, usually by clinical signs, physical examination. Those two are usually sufficient to have a presumptive diagnosis. If we really want to find out about the bacteria, what sort of bacteria, or is it actually the bacteria, we have to do a swab, including the virus. When it comes to treating kennel cough, it usually clears up on its own and your dog will recover with no treatment required over the space of two to three weeks. However, it may linger up to six. The key thing to remember is to isolate your sick pet, if possible from the rest of your dogs, or if you go out for walks, just inform other dog walkers. My dog has a kennel cough, you may not want to come too close. For those animals, usually, it is the noise that bothers uh, the pet owner most, more than the kennel cough itself. It does take time for your dog to get better. As while well, they're recovering, it is recommended to let them to rest. Don't push exercise on them, as it is important to take the time to recover. However, if they are exercising, then look into using harnesses instead of collars, as this will reduce any sort of or prevent any further irritation to the airways in the throat area. Providing supportive care is significant in terms of recovery. For example, monitor their eating and drinking and make sure they're in a stress-free environment. With their food and drink, always make sure that the bowls are clean and that the contents are fresh and do not allow other animals to come in contact with them. When they're recovering at home, try to use humidifiers or warm steam to provide relief for irritated breathing passages. Something to avoid is noxious or irritating fumes such as cigarette smokes or fumes from open fires or log burners. In some cases, your vet may recommend the use of medicine. For example, they may prescribe sort of uh, antibiotics, okay, cough remedies or suppressors and will give you advice what cough medicine uh, would be the best to use. Are we able to prevent kennel cough? In terms of vaccinations, 
certain infections that cause kennel cough are included in the vaccines. And getting this would lessen the symptoms. It doesn't eliminate it, but it may reduce the clinical signs. The most common bacteria in kennel cough is Bordetella bronchiseptica. And this is given as a separate vaccine through nasal drops or infection. These treatments are usually given prior to being ill and is used to prevent or lessen symptoms. Just a reminder, you cannot vaccinate for kennel cough when your dog has got kennel cough and expect that to help the kennel cough. It doesn't work that way. It works when they're actually healthy. As well as this, try to ensure that your home is well ventilated and dust free because this will lessen the chance of your pet catching this illness. Keep in mind that if you're looking to leave your pet in the kennels because you're planning to go on holiday, make sure to check the place out and ask if they're able to show you the space where your dog will be staying. Look at the state, the cleanliness and the hygiene levels of the accommodation. If it is not up to your standard, then just say no and take your dog elsewhere. One of the main things to remember is that it can be caught more than once. Just like us catching colds, it has many different strains, so it is relatively common for your pet to catch it more than once. It can never be fully avoided, even in the cleanest environment, but it's always remember to do your best to prevent your dog falling ill by following the advice that we've just given. This is Amity.